Greetings, people of YouTube. On request from one of my subscribers, I've created a tutorial on how to make YouTube poop. I'm gonna run through some YTP basics, mainly techniques and what to avoid. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll get right into it. First off, you need to understand what YouTube poop is. A lot of newbies seem to think it's just mashups of TV shows with random memes thrown into it. Right over on the dinner. All day. Why am I this way? Mama Luigi, you must die. YouTube poop has come a long way since those days. Before I show you any actual techniques, here's what you'll need. All you need to make YouTube poop is a movie editing software, source material, and some creativity. A favorite video editing software used nowadays is called Sony Vegas, which is miles better than Windows Movie Maker. However, I'm not just talking about Vegas Pro. Vegas Pro may be nice, but the price runs up to around $500. Assuming you're not willing to spend that much, I recommend grabbing Vegas Movie Studio HD 9, which is only 45 bucks. To obtain your source material, your cartoons or whatever, Google search a tube catcher. Enough said. We'll get into creativity as we go along. Now to get into the actual methods of madness behind YouTube poop. Poopisms are the techniques poopers use to make their videos. There's a lot of them, so I'll start off with the most common. The stutter loop. This is where you take a short clip and repeat it over and over again. All you do is take your clip and copy and paste it several times. Congrats, you have a classic stutter loop. There are two variations on this poopism that I want to mention. The stutter loop plus and the stutter loop minus. Stutter loop plus adds random special effects during the loop. Still simple, right? Stutter Loop Minus is a little different. Instead of altering the video imagery, we take it away altogether and just leave the audio. This is often done to imply characters having sex or doing something sexual. However, since that's been done so much, you might want to come up with something original. Alright people, this is how NOT to do a Stutter Loop. I can't tell you how annoying it is when you click on a poop and you get something like this. Like this example, bad stutter loops are slow, uninteresting, and they go on for way too long. I've seen some that have gone on for over 20 seconds. Try to keep these quick and concise. Reversing is very self-explanatory. You just take a clip and put it in reverse. Simple as that. Forward reversing is a very similar concept. You take two copies of the same clip and put the second in reverse. This can be used to give the reversal a bit more of a humorous effect. Here's a bad example of a reversal. See that? Same problem as the stutter loop. It took too long. Quickness helps keep your viewers engaged. Since these next two are similar, I'm going to explain them both at once. Stare down and mysterious zoom. Stare down is when you take a freeze frame of a character so it looks like he's staring at something or someone, usually with an annoyed or shocked look. Judge, shut up! Judge, shut up! Judge, shut up! Judge. With mysterious zoom, the camera slowly and ominously zooms in on the character's face during the freeze frame. I can't think of any particularly bad examples of these two poopisms, so I'm just gonna say not to drag them out for too long. Alright, this next one can be dangerous, in more ways than one. Ear rape. This is when you blast the audio on a video clip and or distort the audio. Use this one sparingly, guys. I've seen poops that have used way too much ear rape, or nothing but ear rape. Trust me, it's not fun. To bring out the best in this poopism, play a few seconds of unchanged footage and then suddenly blast the audio. For all I know, you could be back That way the viewer is caught off guard. Bad example? Well, if you want to entertain people, don't post five minutes of this. <coughs> Alright, let's move on before we go deaf. Hmm, which one? I know, tech text. Poopers sometimes insert short messages into their videos, usually to form a gag. Oftentimes, these messages are on screen for only a split second, so you have to pause at the right time to see them. Not really much to talk about here, so I'm just gonna move on. 
Pitch shifting is when you make a clip's audio more high pitched or low pitched. In Vegas, all you have to do is click on the clip's audio and press the plus or minus keys. Back in the days of Windows Movie Maker, you had to speed up a clip or slow it down to change the pitch. Speed changes are still often used with pitch shifts, though today it's no longer a requirement. Time for the Rape Rave! This one's more complex than the poopisms we've already looked at. This is where you loop footage of a character so it looks like he's dancing. Then you add some color effects, maybe lighting, and replace the audio with music, usually techno or dubstep. Alternatively, you can take footage of a character that is dancing, rather than look for a loop that looks like a dance move. Also, try to be creative with the colors and or lighting. STAY AWAY FROM THE CYCLING COLOR HUES EFFECT IN MOVIE MAKER! THAT'S THE WORST RAPE RAVE EFFECT YOU CAN POSSIBLY USE! Whenever you see a video clip fly across the screen, CHURROS GET YOUR CHURROS! That's panning. Panning is often used to zoom in, zoom out, fly left, fly right, spin it around, or any combination of those effects. If you want to make a clip fly in from the right, you have to take this frame here and drag it over to the left. Don't know why it works that way, it just does. Then you drag this marker all the way to the end of the timeline here. Once you do that, take the frame and drag it over to the opposite side. And there you go. Now for a warning about panning. Panning can be very bland if it's used on its own. I've seen poops that have done this. I haven't even sold one yet, so Merry Christmas. Oh. Panning is best combined with other poopisms, such as the stutter loop or ear rape. Okay, one more poopism to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the poopism you've all been waiting for. Sentence mixing. This poopism is highly effective in creating bizarre situations. Sentence mixing may seem complicated, but it's really not. First off, determine what you want your character to say. Yes, the Zelda CDI cutscenes are the most done-to-death YouTube poop source in history, but since the dialogue here is really easy to cut up, I'm going to use them for the sake of example. Once you find the word you want to use, use the split function to cut it out of the rest of the clip. Ganon. After you cut out the word or words you want to use, put them next to each other to form a sentence. Ganon is going to eat me eggs for dinner. However, if you leave it like this, it looks choppy. To fix this, use one solid clip of video. Ganon is going to eat me eggs for dinner. Of course, if you want to create weirder situations, choose weirder sentences. Welcome to the What to Avoid section. This is a list of the worst possible things any pooper could do, which often plague newbie poopers or poopers who don't realize 2006 is over. Every example I'm about to show you is a clip from real YouTube poops out there. I'm not trying to offend anyone, and I'm not going to say any names, but these are things poopers nowadays should really avoid. Brace yourselves, guys. We're going in. Number one. Using only one or two different poopisms. I've seen poops that are just two or three minutes of lame stutter loops, speed changes, or, as I mentioned before, ear rape. Their main weakness is their lack of variety. Variety is your friend. Use stutter loops, stare downs, rape raves, sentence mixes, reversals, just don't use too much of a single poopism. Number two. I've noticed this next one is very prevalent among Mario head poops. Watch. I'm going to fly for you. Dragging out the same joke for too long. I'm not saying longer jokes are a bad thing, it's when a gag like a stutter loop or a stare down goes on for over 5, 10, sometimes 20 seconds. Again, bores and annoys viewers very quickly. Try to keep jokes concise and to the point. Number 3. Yo. Using the exact same joke over and over again. This usually comes off as a lack of effort and a lack of creativity. And don't use the same jokes and quotes in every video. It's like watching the same poop with different video footage. Variety, people! Number 4. Boring around here. My boy, this- Oh, get a new computer. Using your own voice in a poop. This is why we have sentence mixing. Dubbing over video footage with your voice implies you wanted to take a shortcut rather than sentence mix. It pretty much defeats the definition of YouTube poop, since you're not actually editing the audio content itself. 
It doesn't matter how much you think you suck at sentence mixing, it's still better than doing this. I can wait to use it. Just to reiterate, I'm not trying to offend anyone. Number 5. My boy, you must die! Paint jobs. This is an entire poopism you want to avoid. A paint job is when a pooper takes a still image and edits it in MS Paint. The results are more often than not very unpleasant to look at. Because of this poopism's infamously poor quality, it's laughed at and frowned upon by many poopers. The most common paint jobs give characters bulging eyes or gaping mouths. Here's an example. Not very convincing, is it? Number 6. Penis. No. Mama Luigi. Spaghetti. But dinner and meme replacements. Newbie poopers have a tendency to abuse older sources, such as the CDI cutscenes, Super Mario World, and constantly overused internet memes, such as Ouija, Shoop de Woops, and Over 9000. If I had a nickel for every spadinner poop that made this joke... What the f <laughs> Calculator error. This style of pooping is known as spadinner. Hear me out first. Just because you use spadinner elements, say you throw in one dinner, or you use Super Mario World as your pooping source, it doesn't mean your poop is instantly spadinner crap. It ultimately depends on how you use them. Using a couple references to older sources here and there won't kill your poop. This will. Perhaps I can find spaghetti in the printed word. Or is it the bagel? No. He stole my computer. He stole my drinky. He stole my spaghetti. All these jokes you're hearing, they're called meme replacements. Meme replacement refers to simply replacing words with memes. See, unlike sentence mixing, meme replacement is just throwing in random words, usually those we've heard trillions of times already. If you're going to use old references, use them sparingly. Some spadinner poopers also make characters swear a lot or use generic sex jokes. Swears and sex jokes can be funny, just not in excess. Number 7. Using multiple character voices for one character. Try whenever possible to sentence mix with only one character's voice. However, if you absolutely can't find a certain word, use someone else's voice for that one word. Using two voices can be forgivable, three, maybe, but try to use as few as possible. Number 8. Long YouTube poop intros. There's really no point to doing this. If the viewers are bored enough, they'll probably leave before the intro's over. If you really want to put one in, keep it around a few seconds. Number 9. <laughs> Using external devices to get clips. Guys, downloaders exist. Use them! Using a cell phone or handheld video recorder is a big no-no. Why? Look at the quality! You'd be better off using Hypercam! I repeat, Google a tube catcher. Number 10. Making a poop way too long. I've seen a bunch of poops that go on for 8, 10, 15 minutes. Unless a poop that long has enough good content to keep its viewers engaged, more than likely they'll leave before the halfway mark. Some of them are even split up into multiple parts, ranging from 2 parts to over 10. Length does not determine the quality of a poop. Number 11. Pay attention, folks. I believe this is the worst possible thing any pooper could do. Fish paste! It looks a little dusty around table three. How about if you sweep it out? What's the point? I can't do anything right. You'll do fine. Using large chunks of unedited material. Using a few seconds of unedited material is okay if you're building up to a joke, but I've seen poops that have hardly any edits at all. The whole point of YouTube poop is to edit the source. This is practically guaranteed to slaughter a poop. Avoid at all costs. <laughs> Alright, in conclusion, making YouTube poop well takes practice. Don't expect to make a great poop on your first try. I sure the hell didn't. Also, experiment with different poopisms and think of clever ways you can make fun of your source material. A lot of different viewers means a lot of different senses of humor, so you have to develop your own style and find your audience. Unless you deliberately copy someone else's style, which is not advised. If you need help with your movie editor, say you're just starting out with Vegas, YouTube has a ton of tutorials. And thus ends my YouTube poop tutorial. I hope you all learned something today, and thanks for watching. This is Mobro Studios signing off.